and here's the latest improvement. It's got a heat sinks on the, the thermal motor, thermal lag motor. Anyway, this is a syringe going back and forth at uh, 1200 beats per minute, 90 second, minute, yeah, whatever. Anyway, here's the tube, here's a magnet inside there. Um, you got a coil of wire. An insulator for the end of the tube, uh, for the, the heat tube. Um, using a double double wicked uh, isopropyl alcohol burner, which is very sooty. I need to change over back to methanol. Anyway, here's the voltmeter. Start the motor up. Getting 1.7 volts. Now this. this will produce more power if I had a spring to stop it from hitting the end of the uh, heat sink area. Okay, it switches over to frequency. Point zero two eight kilohertz. So then here's current. Hundred and twenty milliamps. Hundred and fifteen. Uh oh, maybe going downhill, I might die off here. I noticed that moisture builds up in the tube quicker when uh, there's a heavy load on it. I have to clean the moisture out of the syringe. The syringe piston. Yeah. I can move the coil, which may kill it, and it may not. Okay, I've got up to 115 milliamps again. Move the coil further back. It says it's sweet spots, and some kill it. I believe my coil's too big. Too heavy wire. But anyway, 100 milliamps is usually what I can get out of it. Between 120, from 100, 100 to 120 milliamps, at around 2 volts. 1.7 to 2 volts. There's the coil. Anyway, if it wasn't taking out all the time, I'd be getting a whole lot more power. Because it can get as high as like two and a half volts when it's not hitting the end of the heat sink cylinder. Anyway, this is the latest production.